Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video, please subscribe to our channel to give us your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get upcoming videos. Good luck for your exam. What should a motorway slip road be used for? A to increase your speed to match that of the fastest vehicles on the motorway. B to get used to the speed of traffic on the motorway. C to select which lane you're going to use once you've joined the motorway. D to adjust your speed to match that of the traffic in the left hand lane of the motorway. The correct answer is D to adjust your speed to match that of the traffic in the left hand lane of the motorway. Explanation. Use a slip road to adjust your speed to match that of the traffic in the left hand lane of the motorway. This will allow you to merge into a safe gap in the traffic. Give priority to traffic already on the motorway. When may you cross double solid white lines along the center of the road? A to pass parked vehicles on your side of the road. B to pass a tractor traveling at 20 miles per hour. C to pass a traffic queue at a junction. D to pass a road sweeper traveling at 15 miles per hour. The correct answer is A to pass parked vehicles on your side of the road. Explanation. When it's safe to do so. You may cross the solid white line to pass a stationary vehicle or to pass a pedal cycle horse or road maintenance vehicle if they're traveling at 10 miles per hour or less. You may also cross the solid line to enter a side road or access a property. You see a vehicle with a flashing amber beacon ahead. What warning does this give you? A the vehicle is a fire engine. B the vehicle is carrying flammable goods. C the vehicle is a doctor's car. D the vehicle is slow moving. The correct answer is D the vehicle is slow moving. Explanation. Slow moving vehicles, such as a salt spreader or breakdown vehicle may use a flashing amber beacon on unrestricted dual carriageways vehicles with a maximum speed of 25 miles per hour 40 kilometers per hour or less must use a flashing amber beacon when emerging at a junction what can significantly obstruct a driver's vision? A windscreen wipers, B interior mirror, C steering wheel, D windscreen pillars. The correct answer is D windscreen pillars. Explanation. Windscreen pillars can block your view, particularly at junctions. Those road users who are most at risk of not being seen are cyclists motorcyclists and pedestrians never rely on just a quick glance what should you remove before leaving your car unattended other vehicle documents b spare bulbs c a road atlas d a first aid kit the correct answer is at the vehicle documents explanation Never leave the vehicle documents inside the vehicle. They would help a thief to dispose of it more easily. You're driving on a motorway. The traffic ahead is braking sharply because of an incident. How could you warn traffic behind? A briefly use the hazard warning lights. B. Switch on the hazard warning lights and leave them on. C. Switch on the headlights and leave them on. D. Briefly use the rear fog light. The correct answer is A. Briefly use the hazard warning lights. Explanation. While the car is in motion, hazard warning lights are only allowed to be used if you're traveling on a motorway or unrestricted dual carriageway and you want to warn traffic behind of a hazard ahead. Only use them for a short period of time, just long enough to ensure that your warning has been seen. What should you do if a tire bursts while you're driving? A change gear and relax your grip on the steering wheel. B. Brake sharply and steer to the right. C. Brake firmly and steer to the left. 
left, D hold the steering wheel firmly and let the car stop gradually. The correct answer is D hold the steering wheel firmly and let the car stop gradually. Explanation. Try not to panic if tire bursts while you're driving. Take your foot off the accelerator and avoid braking suddenly. Try to steer a straight course while holding the wheel firmly. What's the most likely cause of the car pulling to the right when the foot brake is applied? Are the brakes on the left side are inefficient? B. The road surface is uneven. C. The wheels need balancing. D. Excessive road camber. The correct answer is A. The brakes on the left side are inefficient. Explanation. If the vehicle pulls to one side when braking, this usually means there's a fault with the brakes on the opposing side. Check your brakes daily, and if you suspect any fault, have them checked as soon as possible. Don't drive with faulty brakes. You've just driven through flood water. How should you dry out the brakes? A stop at the nearest garage and have the brakes looked at. B. Drive at a normal speed until the brakes work properly. C. Drive slowly and apply light pressure to the foot brake. D. Stop and pump the brake pedal several times. The correct answer is C. Drive slowly and apply light pressure to the foot brake. Explanation. Before you test the brakes, don't forget to check for traffic behind. If it's safe, Drive slowly and gently apply the brakes until they dry out and work properly again. At the scene of an incident, a pedestrian's leg is bleeding heavily. It's not broken and there are no objects in the wound. How could you help stop the bleeding? A keep both legs flat on the ground. B. Apply firm pressure to the wound. C. Roll the person into the recovery position. D. Remove their shoes and socks. The correct answer is B. Apply firm pressure to the wound. Explanation. Check there are no objects in the wound and then apply a firm pressure with a pad of clean material, such as a bandage or a length of cloth. Raising the leg will lessen the flow of blood. Avoid tying anything tightly round the leg, as any restriction to blood circulation for more than a short period of time can result in long-term injury. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe UK Learning's YouTube channel. Share with your friends and family. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos. Your support will encourage us to make more videos. We wish you all the best for your exam.